All right, we'll take questions for Rod. Just please wait for the microphone. Go ahead, Corey. <clears throat> Rod, if, if you had to choose, would you rather have a 2 nothing lead and a, or a 3-1 lead and then carry it out and just finish the game out, or the fact that it's the power play that, that gets you the win? Is oh, that... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I mean, I don't know what... We just got to get Ws at this time of year. Go ahead, Chip. Right, it seemed like the, the third goal that they scored could have been a real deflator for you yeah. guys, but you you were able to put it behind you and that's well you, you score uh, that's one thing I can appreciate with this group is we just kinda all year throughout forever that we've been doing this. We always just seem to be able to just focus on whatever happens, good or bad, the next play and um that's basically what happened. I don't know that we were great the rest of the way, but we certainly didn't go the other way, which could have happened. Right. The the you always say like we like we make a too big a deal about adjustments and things like that sometimes. But to put Shea out there with that unit and then have Tara Vine and tee him up the way he did, it does feel like maybe even just switching up the mojo might have helped and, and get that. I mean, what yeah. was your view on that? Yeah, that's basically what was going on. I mean, we've had some good looks in this series on the power play. Like Spesh has had three or four right in the slot, even having another one tonight. You know, and I think game one, I thought we talked about it. We had a couple of posts on the power. Like, you're gonna you're gonna go through those little stretches where you don't want to give up chances. That that's the real dagger. Um, but I thought tonight we had a couple of good looks again, and just got lucky to get one in. I mean, that's that's the game. Go ahead, Evan. New York's motto this year has been no quit in New York. You feel like you gave them a little no quit North Carolina tonight with how physical you guys were and just to play from all around you guys were well, showing. I thought, I, thought, I thought they played a great game, actually. I, I thought we came out well, which that was, you know, very, very important. And then I thought they, they answered the bell and had a good game. Actually, might have been, you know, for us, I thought it was over the four that we played. might have been our least effective game overall. But, you know, like I can say hockey's weird. You get the bounce here or there or you get a shot that goes in, and, and, you know, that's what happens. But, you know, we live to fight another day. That's, that's the most important thing. Go ahead, Corey. Rob, we talked a lot about this season, about Freddie's demeanor, about how even he is, and giving up a goal like that is a tough situation. Can you just speak to how you know he makes a big a big stop late in the game, just kind of resets himself, and then also your decision to to go to him tonight? Yeah, I mean the one thing about Freddie we know is he's very even keeled, whatever, never gets too high or too low, and I mean he's pro, and so yeah, you'd love to have that one back, but then he made a, a great save. Uh, on a rush that came in and the guy kind of knocked it out of the air and you know uh, he had to be there so you got to always worry it's the next play it's the next shift and you got to be able to, to deal with that and he does and the decision to start him. How, how you well it was we were you know just debating give him that little rest and you know they always had a plan to have him come back and play anyway Rod, you mentioned the first period, and obviously it was the period you guys needed in a game like this to set that tone, but it also felt like Sebastian, both with the puck and then without the puck and the way he played physically, was kind of trying to set a tone. I mean, did you see that sort of, like, leadership by example from him tonight? Yeah, he was great tonight. Svesh, again, was a, just a force. You know, those those guys in particular stood out for us on, on the positive side, and um, you, you have to. I mean, your best players. It's clear. You look at their best guys. They're they're all over it. So, and our guys have been too. Rod, it, it's been obvious the conviction you have about this team, even through down 0-3. We we saw how you responded the other night in a hard situation. I'm just. Well, I know this is more personal, but um, do you did you feel much stress on behalf of the players coming into this game, or do you feel no? I instinctively believe in these guys, and you, you don't carry that into this game, you personally. Mm, yeah, I don't know. There's a ton of stress. <laughs> I, 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 but I think w we were able to, you know, uh, just there's another game. Like, you just, what are you going to do? You, you know, you can't win four games tonight. You can't even think about it, but you can just go do your job, you know, and. We've been doing a pretty good job of it. I haven't been at all disappointed in how we've played. Can we be sharper in certain areas? Yes, but you know, what are you going to do? And our guys have been through this enough, and and we got great leadership in there to just keep focused on, you know, the game. We'll have to re, you know, tonight you feel good about it, and then we have to get back out of here tomorrow, and we're going to have to repeat. Uh, Rod, just kind of speaking to that a little bit. 
How would you quantify pressure in this situation? You know, obviously, objectively, you're, you're down in the series, but you have a chance to steal a game on the road and come right back here. You know, how would you measure that? Well, that's what we have to do. I mean, we like, look, <laughs> I mean, probably make too big a deal of it, right? Like, keep saying it again, we got to just figure out how to be better than tonight. I mean, we can't give up those opportunities and expect to win. It's certainly not three more. Like you have, we have to lock it down a lot better than we did tonight, or they, it, we, we won't, we won't win. So we got to be better, but we, we still have, you know, uh, a lot of belief in, in that room. Like that's the thing that never has changed. Um, and, and you have to have that. Go ahead, Evan. In game three, it was Andre who delivered that huge hit that led to the Orlov goal tonight. Yasperi with an unbelievable hit that kind of cleared the way for Kuznetsov to score. What about KK's performance have you seen his game improving and especially the effort from tonight? Well, his effort's always been there. You know, it's been a, probably a tough year overall, but, um, you know, he's, he is a big guy and he, I think he has to redefine a little bit his game and, and be physical and he's got a great shot. Like, he's got to be able to, you know, understand that a little bit and I think he has. He's starting to grasp it and, you know, we're going to need all 20 guys and that's, that's, he's a big part of that. All right, we'll take two more. Go ahead, Josh, and then Ryan. Rod, you mentioned you can't win four in one night. Whether it, when it comes to having to win so many do-or-die games, are there examples that you point out to the guys of yeah. times that happen, whether it be your NC State yeah. Wolfpack yeah. or the other NHL teams to do it? That's a different, a little different. Um, no, we don't need to do that. They understand the situation. I'm gonna, oh, the team did it in 20 years ago, and this, <laughs> they they understand, and so. Um, it's just about staying focused and trying to, you know, okay, we got to win one more game. That's all we can do and take it from there. Go ahead, Ryan. Obviously, different wingers than maybe we you see past years, but the stall line's ability to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Rangers' best guys, kind of keep them as contained as they can, and especially at the end of the game, you know, Terry Vine and Jarvis, huge blocks, huge moves to keep the game ahead as the end. I mean, just their impact overall in this series, even without getting on the board. Yeah. Well, the, you know, it's, we talk a lot all year about Jordan Stahl's impact and what he does for our group, and just not only on the ice, off the ice, but he always gets the tough, you know, tough matchups. He's never out there against not the top guys. And whoever you play him with, you mentioned a couple guys, we've had others, but he's the, the king of that, you know, whatever, however you want to call it, line. Um, and, you know, it's just, I can't even, express to you as a coach how important that player is to this team. All right. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, yes. everyone. Thank you.